In this video, I'll be showing you some of the changes that there have been in Ubuntu 14.04 development. So Ubuntu 14.04, it's codenamed Trusty Tar, I think is the pronunciation, I'm not sure of that. So it's released in about one month's time, so on April the 17th. So let's take a look. So starting within Nautilus, the file manager, there's been a lot of work done in restoring the original functionality. Whereas recently GNOME have been absolutely just trashing Nautilus. Canonical have made quite a few changes to bring back the original functionality, such as a simple little one, pressing backspace now takes you up a folder level. If I go across to a folder with a lot of files in, find as you type is now back to a single folder, rather than finding files in all folders. Yeah, I don't know, that could be a useful or annoying feature to bring back in. Depends on your point of view on that. I can't remember this feature was there before, but you've got the option now to drop the tab out of Nautilus and open a new window. It's quite nice. If I zoom in a bit, you can see now that there's better gradient and curved effect now on the corners of the applications. And the one pixel border has now gone as well. So it makes the applications slightly smaller. The whole two pixels each side. You can now have locally integrated menus. So if I switch that to show the menus for window in the Windows title bar, just go across to Firefox, you can see the menus are now there. There's been a slight speed improvement all around within Ubuntu 14.04, the applications loading a bit faster and boot ups a little bit quicker. According to Veronix, this article here indicates there's been a slight improvement to gaming as well. That's all good. The control center has now been forked by Canonical and they're now managing their own, although this one looks exactly the same. They had made quite a lot of changes to the old GNOME control center. So now you can get the original GNOME control center, which would be good if we were using the GNOME version of Ubuntu. Resizing an application is now a live resize and is a little bit quicker than before. Okay, some of the other changes we have. Within Compiz, under the Unity plugin, decorations are now handled from here. Again, where before it used to be the window decoration. So that's where I've got this little blue effect around the window. Little blue shadow effect. Unfortunately, though, no, it's not keeping settings between reboots. So if I go and tweak all that, it won't hold. Another annoying thing with the keyboard shortcuts they're just not holding between reboots. I've customised a few things here, so like changing the shortcut for launch terminal, I like it as super and X key. Works there, but as soon as I reboot, it'll go back to control alt and T. Although bizarrely, the key to show the heads up display menu is staying the same. <laughs> so it keeps one change, but ignores the rest of them. It's disregarding this custom shortcut, control alt and delete, it does absolutely nothing and it's disregarding the changes I make within sound and media. So now I can't control Clementine via the keyboard. In fact, is it even going to open? Come on! Oh, it's because it's already active, isn't it? There we go. Right, Clementine's not working properly after a reboot. So, yeah, there's quite a few things not working properly. Oh, okay, it's to be expected at the moment because it's in development. Okay, back within the view settings, we can make the Unity launcher and considerably smaller than before, so down to 16 pixels. You can still just about read them. And it goes up to 64 pixels. And I think that is about all of it. And we do have a different selection of wallpapers now. So some positive improvements and a few annoying features. And one other feature I didn't mention is it's, we've now lost the ability to have partially transparent application title bars. That one I quite liked. Anyway, let's look at the changes in Ubuntu 14.04. Thanks for watching. See you later.